All right, what up everybody? Jetty here. Welcome back to another video. Excited to get into this one today with you guys. I'm here with my boy. Oh, I didn't know you were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my boy. What's up everybody? I'm here with Jetty today. Yo, yo. He's, he's making history. Okay, so we're about to do the second part to this video. Um it to do this next part, the UE5 part, the League of Legends to UE5, you will need to know uh, this first part right here. So how to get League of Legends into Blender is on my channel. Hopefully your attention span isn't too short because this is 16 minutes and this tutorial is going to be another few minutes. So we're going to literally start off where we left off right here. And uh, yeah, so this is what we got right here. Yelvis is going to be in the back. He's just being a bystander. He is currently playing... Tarkov so if you hear his keyboard going crazy do not mind it but we're gonna start off right here we have uh, our model and what happens is with our model like this these kind of um crystals are in the way so we need to be able to get rid of the crystals but before that um, we want to loop the animation so let's just find where it loops right I'm gonna use my arrow keys and it looks like it loops right at 216. So you're just gonna come over here, set this to 216. If you don't have this, you can just pull it up like that. And uh, let's see if it loops. Oh, it looks a little choppy, hold on. Oh, it's fine. If it looks stuttery, you can move these around by, by one. Like see if I move that to 215, are we gonna notice something with the legs? Yeah, you can. So it's definitely 216. But anyways, go ahead, pause that, come up here and remove those bones. So first things first, we're going to want to get rid of uh, all these crystals. So press tab, I think, and then press P, lose parts, tab again, and then come over here and just delete these crystals. Most of the models will have something like this where there's like something at the base of their feet and we don't want this to be exported into ue5 oops so we're just going to remove them and that looks good enough and then go ahead and press a and all this is broken up so then Control j gone wrong Boom, got it. Okay, it was Control J. I was just doing brain surgery. Yeah, so you're gonna Control J. J. So um, all this is like one material because you don't want it to be separated like it was before when we uh, lost the parts. So yeah, A Control J. Click this. Make sure these are selected. So click A, and you want this to be all selected uh, like this. And then we're gonna go to File, Export. Uh, export as FBX, click the selected. Uh, we want this to be X forward and Z up. And you can just leave that alone. For the geometry, you can leave everything in there alone. Untick add leaf bones and untick these two. Let's name it and drop it into the music file. We'll name it ash fbx and then go ahead and export that okay so when you watch this tutorial i end by having a jlb file which is what one of these will look like it will look like properties see how it's a jlb so we'll need that so you'll definitely need this tutorial to finish the rest of this all right, so now that we're in Unreal Engine 5 and I just cut the rest of that crap out, go ahead and get your <laughs> your uh, Ash FBX and drag that in and do uh, just all the default settings. Make sure that's um, like that and all these check marks are done. Go ahead and import it. Uh, that doesn't matter. And then you'll have what you just got on um, Blender. So you can go ahead and drag that in and it will be ginormous. So now you have this. 
you're going to need that JLB file that we got from last video, which is just, you know, any one of these. Um, if you go to the properties of it, when you export, you can see that it's the JLB. Go ahead and drop it in. Import. Something ain't right. Skeletal mesh. Import only animations. Textures. Yeah, all this looks good. And you should be able to come over here. Holy cow. After a million tries, we finally got it. But that's okay. With the ability to edit, we're going to cut that all out. And when you drag in that JLB file, it will, it will do that. It won't, you won't be able to get the option to select them like that. So just delete everything and drag it back in and then make sure those settings that I just had recorded were um, still there. And now when you click play on this, what we're here for, you have League of Legends inside Unreal Engine 5. Is there anything, any closing statements you'd like to say, Yelvis? Not that he can think of, but what he can think of is that if you guys ha need any help, go ahead and hit me up on Discord and hit him up on Discord because he's going to know a lot more about this than I do. I have no clue, but, but by the way, this is the only stuff I've ever done. So if your game is having any issues, I probably don't know how to fix it, but I can definitely help with what I do know. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully I was recording and I was. You guys take it easy. This is how you do it.